So, what you did so far is being listed in the previous session is listed here and the goals of this lab is to explore the technology tools to create videos or screencasts for your own classroom, write the learning objectives expected from the student after watching the video. So, these learning objectives can be at lower cognitive levels of recall or understand. Create a video that is a screencast for your course using the tool. So, two examples of screencasts are uh, provided here. The second one you had seen yesterday while preparing the concept map. So, watch one or both to get an idea of what screencast should contain. Note that each screencast will have an audio narration explaining the topic and video of a PPT or a slide or an application like bubble.us. It can have focus elements like writing or highlighting. Some guidelines uh, you can read this. So, the tools for creating videos are Cam Studio and Record My Desktop. We have already sent you a request to the remote centers to install these. Again, uh, links explaining the working of these are also provided. So, Cam Studio is used for Windows and Record My Desktop is for Linux. So, uh, Linux users you will have to add this final command when you convert the video. So, the activities you have to initially make a group of two and identify the topic and subject in which you are going to create the 10 minute video. So, in case you if you have if any one of you have previously done a screencast do mention that. After listing the subject and topic you will have to write the learning objectives. There will be at least one to three learning objectives and corresponding Bloom's cognitive level. This is the learning objective for the video that you are going to prepare, not for the in class activity. So, as an initial step to prepare the video, list down all the main points of the topic that you are going to cover. Further to explain your topic, you may need to use either a PowerPoint slide or use an existing visualization or demo of an application that has to be done prior to the recording. Then the process is to open the supporting material, start the screencast tool and select the screen area accordingly. Start recording and then start your explanation. Once you have finished the explanation, stop the recording and save the video in your system. For the submission of assignment, you can upload the video into YouTube in your own account and paste the link here. If your video size can be compressed to less than 5 MB, upload it in Moodle also. So, once you have finished this worksheet, there is an assignment created in Moodle called creating video for your own classroom. Upload this PPT, the edited PPT in that assignment. Some possible future actions to improve your video is to use video editing softwares like Movie Maker and OpenShot and include subtitles or effects within the video. After creating uh, the video and editing it, it is important that you create an in class activity that will help student to work on the topic at higher cognitive levels. Also ensure that there are mechanisms in which through which students will get feedback on their work and finally, you will have to submit the entire package, the flip classroom package as an online assignment which will be uh, detailed to you through Moodle. I will just show you a, the sample video which are uploaded. So, let us discuss what is recursion. Recursion involves the situation in which. So, this is the video which has a PowerPoint slide being explained using the highlight and write functions. Call 
rules itself. So wherever you find in a program, we can see writing over situation, here. This situation is called as. You can see that the instructor is writing something over here. What you need to base case is and situation is called x and this is f equals to the recursive functions. Six. That's number minus one plus number here. Number minus all the variables will be stored. This is this part. But now what minus one? That means one. Now become three. The questions that you may need to solve the problem ourself. So here you can see that he is using a different application. This application is code blocks and he is showing a screencast of that application. So these are several mechanisms through which you can create your own video. So uh, by and large these three features, one is the feature of uh, using slides and highlighting or annotating them, second is the feature of uh, writing either on the slide itself or on a tablet and the third is the feature of doing a, sc a screen capture of an application such as a programming environment. So typically these three features are sufficient to create a good information transmission oriented uh, video on a concept.